Hi guys, I'm going to show you a way that I align my telescope during the daytime to get solar tracking. This is useful for getting ready for the solar eclipse. Right now I'm using a Celestron 102 GT mount. Uh, I've swapped out for a XLT 102 optical tube, but this should work with any optical tube. And this should work with most of the next star mounts of the same basic method. So one thing I found is that even though I have enabled the sun here, that I can't do a solar alignment on the sun, or sometimes every once in a while it shows up, but most of the time it doesn't. So what we're going to do is get a rough alignment on Polaris, just using due north from a compass or from your phone, and a rough angle, that's your latitude, and we can really just eyeball this. And then we're going to dial in our fine alignment and do a refined alignment on the sun using the solar finder to get us close, and then finally the, the eyepiece to, uh, to get it all dialed in. So first I'll show you, you know, we're here on the Nexstar GT handset. If we go to the menu, you want to go through here and make sure that you'll be able to, I think it's under utilities, was it utilities? I think it was utilities. I'll go to the sun menu. You have to either remove the sun or enter to remove sun. I come through here, enter to allow sun. So make sure that you have gone in here, allowed the sun, because later on you'll need that when you align it to the sun. But first, let's go back to the main menu. We're going to enter to begin alignment. We're not going to use sky align. We're going to use a single star alignment, one star align. I'm going to choose that. Choose your location, your time, your time zone, your date, and I'm going to choose our star here. Let's go to Polaris. So now with this, you have to slew the telescope. And I'm going to show you how you can do this with just rough alignment. You have to know the direction of north and know approximately your latitude angle. And that's all we're going to do. So let's swing this around here. We're going to get this pointing as close to north as we can. And for me, about 43 degrees latitude. may have to fast forward through some of this. Okay, I'm just eyeballing this. I haven't even gotten out my phone, but I do know that that direction is north. And now I'm gonna raise the tube up. I'm looking for about 43 to 45 degrees of elevation. Sure, that looks pretty good. 45 degrees. I'm going to say enter and then align Polaris. It's going to ask you to do your final line. I'm going to hit align. It will say alignment success, star pointer off. Now we actually get to slew to where we want to go. So you can hit planet to go to your solar system objects and we should see the sun in our menu because we've enabled it. So I'm gonna hit sun, it'll give you a warning. Make sure you have your solar filter on or a proper setup for solar viewing. This is extremely important. You can damage your vision if you use a telescope to look at the sun. So we're gonna let this slew around to the sun. And we'll see, with that super rough alignment, are we close at all? And it doesn't matter exactly how close we are, because you'll see our solar alignment scope is really going to help us to get this dialed in. And I make this scope, and I sell this solar finder, so that if you want one, this is a really nice one, because you can see, even with that rough of alignment, you can see how far off we are. And now we're going to use the solar finder scope to dial this in, and go through, let's take our slew rate to 9. And 
You can see us getting our alignment dialed right in here. That looks pretty good. And what we're going to do is I'm going to hit align. Let's see, if I come back here again and I hit align, you would say replace unassigned. Hit yes. Center the sun. Press align. And now what this does, it's replaced the location of the sun. So we've improved our alignment. And it really is that easy. So again, all you have to really do here is get a rough alignment on Polaris. Do a one star align on Polaris. And you can get that pretty rough. Then enhance your alignment using your solar finder scope. And finally, let's test this out for actual solar projection. Okay, I had to reposition my box there. I'm going to reposition the scope. Okay, so now you see it. You can tell it's a cloudy day. You can see the clouds passing in front of the sun there. Let's kind of zoom in. And see this solar projection method is what I'm planning to use. This is really nice to see. You can see the clouds going across, but you can also see the um, sunspots on the sun. This is going to be great for showing a lot of people the solar eclipse before you hit totality. Or if you're in an area without totality, you'll really be able to track the solar eclipse. Much safer than trying to look into a scope. <laughs> And uh, this is going to be my method. So, again, if you're trying to align your telescope and you can't get it aligned on the sun, go for a one-star align on Polaris and then in improve your alignment by aligning to the sun after you've aligned to Polaris.